Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is date night with Lisa and I am so glad you guys are joining me tonight. <laughs> I saw some of the comments on here. <laughs> Derry says, finally. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about your weather. <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. All right, so some of you guys are really excited for tonight. All right, I'm so excited that you are here. And um, we're going to have a fun time for the next 30 minutes probably uh, doing this card, which is brand new uh, stuff, products from Stampin' Up. So I can't show you the new catalog yet. I could show you the cover, but that would just be a tease, wouldn't it? Um, but it is using this brand new stamp set, Happiness Abounds. We're only using the words, though. Um, it looks like I colored all this, but I didn't. I actually took it right from the paper. It's all paper. Can you believe that? I love it. Love it. Love it. The paper is absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm using the words from the stamp set and it has matching dies. So the dies are doing all the work today. So it has a die for every flower and guess what? The paper actually has dies that go with it so this is where I got the flowers from tonight I actually just took the dies and there's one for every flower on here so like this one this is my little washi tape that I always use to hold stuff on so whenever I do die cutting I put washi tape down so it doesn't move so there's the die for that one and it's also the die for that one and that one and that one and then this big flower has a little let me see where's the addition right here I think that goes right there. Nope. Wait a minute. There we go. All right. So that one goes. Oops. That's why you need washi tape. Uh, let's see. We've got another one. We've got the leaves too. So the leaves match right here. And I mean, you can do them close together. I cut out a piece and then die cut a few at a time. Because sometimes they're too close together. You can't cut them all. So, um... I just cut a part of it out to get mine. So there's the leaves right there. And so you can pretty much cut like four or five. I think I forgot one of the dies. Yeah, because this one goes, yep, I did forget one, I think. Wait a minute. Yep, because there's one for this little one right here and I forgot that one. This one goes to, let me see, that one and this one. So we've got, there you go. So I'm missing this one. I forgot to bring it. It must still be in my kitchen. That's where I do my die cutting from. All right, so there's dies to go with every flower on this page. So you can die cut all of them out, you know, at once and make a whole big pile and just like combine them all or whatever you want to do. I cut out just the pink and purple ones. So this is Fresh Freesia. This is like Highland Heather Gorgeous Grape-ish, kind of. I don't know. This is Highland Heather here, so it's closest to that one. And then Gorgeous Grape too. So this paper is absolutely gorgeous. And then the back, if I take these off, so those all cut out. So that's what I did. I just cut a bunch out ahead of time. And then that's what I made the card from. The back of the paper is gorgeous too. Isn't that beautiful? Love it, love it, love it. So here's all my little flowers I cut out. And so I did absolutely nothing but cut these out. No coloring no nothing isn't that good and let me show you the whole pack of paper i think i did show this the other day but um oh i forgot to say hello to everybody hold on let me see oh my gosh hey deborah hey kai omega laura carla debbie moreau terry stacy from new york Teresa, patricia um uh, melinda carol pamela Heather, we have everybody on here. Cindy, Bay, oh my gosh, so many people. There's like, I don't know, oh, 50 people already on here. Wow. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. Hey, Debbie Spicer, how are you doing? Um, oh, you are in Yuma too. Who else is in Yuma? I can't see. Let me see. Well, I missed it. Um, all right. Hey, Audrey, how you doing? Hey, Susan. All right, we have got a good crowd going tonight. All right, so here's the paper. So I showed you this piece already. 
So that's what I, um, I just used the purple part. So I cut that out of that. And then this one right here, if I can get it out, whoops. This one is actually the other part of the card. So this piece also comes in all the different shades. So we're using, this piece came like right here or somewhere over here, right there. Nope, right there. Where did it come? Right there. All right, so this piece kind of does the same thing. It goes in all different colors. So I cut off a piece of five and a quarter and then got four inch pieces out of it. So I'm using that piece. And then that, I didn't really like the back of that one. It's cut. Oh, here's the whole piece. So I just cut this off and then cut it into um, four inch pieces. So that's that one. And then we've got this one, which is kind of like this one, but smaller flowers. This one and this one. And I think that one's another one that goes, yeah. So this is the same as this one except instead of purple, blue, and pink, it's like pink, light pink, um, yellow. Same kind of exact flowers though. And the back, oh, that's really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so this paper is definitely gonna be on your wish list if you have not gotten it already. So if you're a demonstrator, you could get it already. If you're not a demonstrator, then you have to either wait until May 3rd, I think, or Sign up to be a demonstrator. If you sign up right now, you can get it right now. And we're also using the um, scalloped, no, not scallop. Well, this is a scallop circle, but it's in the layering circle size. And this is the two and three quarter inch one. So let me show you everything that you need. Well, you need all these little die cuts from that piece of um, designer paper. And then you need, if you just joined us, that this is the card we're making. Can you see all the sparkle? on there. The paper is absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it. Hey, Starla. Love, love, love this paper. All right, so we're gonna need a piece of five and a half by eight and a half Highland Heather. And then that paper that I just showed you, four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of white, five, a four by five and a quarter. The little scallop circle. Oh, I forgot to put what color. This is Pool Party. Pool Party. Hope you can see that. And then a little scrap of white. This is for stamping the words on. And then you need your cutout flowers too. That one's for the inside because on the inside I put one, two. I didn't really stamp anything. The only thing I stamped on this whole entire card was the words. So it's a super easy card. If anybody says they can't stamp, all they got to do is stamp the word. And, and there you go. Oh, here, I'll put the card there if you want to take a screenshot with it. So... Is everybody having a great Saturday? I know this paper is just so springy and happy. And I was so excited because I went to Home Depot yesterday and bought some flowers. Okay. Are we back? Oops. Who's up on your... Oops. Okay, there we go. All right. Can you guys see me now? Hopefully I am back. I hit the refresh button. <laughs> oh my God. This is so frustrating. Okay. It should be back now because my, everything's going good. Okay. I'm back. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. I guess I'll hurry up. We won't talk too much today. All right. I know. I just, I don't know what to do because I tried the internet, I tried the phone, and nothing's working right, so. All right, so only thing we have to do is glue this down uh, onto the front. I'll tell you about my story yesterday. So last time we were together was Thursday night, and I think I told you that I had a um, massage appointment on yesterday. So I got up early, and I wanted to go to... Um, get an oil change first before um, I went there. And so I went to, I had a Groupon for this Valvoline oil change. So it's normally like $45. I had a Groupon for like $21.99 or something. 
So I get there and there's nobody there. And I'm like, yes, I got there like right at about 8.30 and it wasn't busy at all. And I was like, cool, beans, because normally there's a line. And I'm just going to put this down with green glue. And um, so I pull in and they immediately start doing everything and they lift the hood and and I'm sitting in the car and um, you know they're checking my tires checking my lights doing all this stuff and then the guy comes back and he's like um, we don't have your oil filter in stock he said we're out of it and I was like what and he goes well you can just go down to the street to AutoZone and pick one up and bring it back and we'll put it in for you and then we'll take a few dollars off of your charge today and I had already given him the Groupon and I'm like well, I have a Groupon, so it's free because I've already paid for it. <laughs> I said, so how are you going to give me a few dollars back off of my charge today? And they're like, well, you can have the Groupon back and just come back with it and just go get the oil filter. And I said, but I've already paid for the oil change and everything. And uh, it should not be blurry now because everything is clear on my end. And I can see it on my computer good. So hopefully... Um, it should be coming out good because I can see everything perfect on my computer. It's not doing it anymore. So just maybe refresh. I just refreshed my computer and it's it's doing okay. So needless to say, I just left there. I was so mad. And so then I was going to go to Home Depot to get my um, stuff because I told you guys Home Depot started their spring sale. So um, I'm just going to glue this down right in the middle of the front. So I go to Home Depot and there's nobody at Home Depot either. That's why I love shopping like in the middle of the week on weekdays early in the morning because nobody's ever there. All right, so, okay, good. Refresh and it's coming in good. Very, very good. Okay, um, all right, so I just glued that down in the middle and then I'm gonna stamp my words. So I'm at Sam's and of course the flowers that I want, which I usually get in patience because my backyard in the front yard right now, I have pansies from the fall, and they're absolutely beautiful right now. I need a piece of scrap paper because this pad is the brand new one. It's the or Orchid Oasis, and it's so juicy that it comes out really, really dark. So I stamped that the first time dark, and it was just too dark. So I'm just going to stamp off. See how dark that is? It's too dark. So then I'm going to stamp it on here, and we just... We don't need to be perfect or straight or anything because I'm cutting that out. So that's a little bit too close though. Let me try it one more time. So um, I wanted to get impatient. Well, that's still close to the top. Oh well. And they hadn't come in. So they had all these flowers for 88 cents in the four inch um, containers, which is like a killer deal. Because usually I'll go in and I'll get like a couple dozen of those and put them all over my, my backyard because I need shade flowers back there. And impatience are perfect because the front yard gets the sun, the backyard gets the shade. So I've got the pansies out front and then I replace those with vincas in about a month when it starts getting hot. And um, so anyway, I was mad about that. So, so then I'm like, nothing's going my way today. All right, we're gonna put tape all over this and not all the way to the edge, but uh, kind of like that. And then I've got this big old honking piece of ribbon left over. So this is fresh freesia. This is actually carrying over this, um, I don't remember what it's called. It's the in color ribbon from this year is carrying over till next year. So we get to use it for a whole nother year, which is a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is cut this up the middle while I finish my story. So um, so then I just get some other stuff and um, I bought a few plants, but not a ton because the ones that I wanted uh, were not there. So I bought a, a few other little ones and, um, and then I was gonna get a bunch of bags of topsoil and mulch because they're on sale. So for that, you go to the register and you just tell them how many you want. Then you go to the back of the parking lot and there's supposed to be somebody out there to put it in the car for you. So I get all that and I'm running way ahead of schedule now because I didn't get my oil change. And uh, so I've got plenty of time. So my appointment's at 10, it's now nine o'clock. 
when I check out of Home Depot. So I go to the back of the parking lot. There's no one waiting and there's only one person out there. Well, actually there's three. Three people out there. The one is this old man about 150 years old. I'm exaggerating. He was probably like 80. All right, we're going to cut a bunch of pieces of this. So I just want maybe like, I don't know, four or five inches of these pieces that are thinner. So we just want like six of these. All right. So I said, then there's two young kids out there, you know, like maybe 20s. And one is, one is a guy and he's on a, um, uh, what do you call the things? A pallet mover thing. I forget what they're called, but he's just sitting on that doing nothing, just like hanging out. We're going to put this like right here and then we're going to put another one next to it. And so then there's a girl out there and the two of them are just talking. They're not doing anything. They're just like standing around doing nothing. And the old man's standing by the mulch and I'm thinking, oh, great. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't come like in my yard clothes. I came in like regular clothes because I wasn't planning on doing yard work yet and uh, so I go over to the old man and I give him my receipt and, and show him you know what I need to get and um, he's like you need 15 back because I got 15 bags of mulch and uh, 25 bags of topsoil and I said yes, and 25 bags of topsoil. And he's like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's not gonna fit in your car. And I said, yes, it will. <laughs> I have an SUV and, and I go get this like every single year and I know exactly what will fit in my car. And uh, I can fit 30 bags of mulch in there or a bunch more if it's just the topsoil because they're smaller. So he, I pull up right next to the topsoil, I mean the uh, mulch. And all right, so we've got four of those right there. Then we're gonna put some dimensionals on these. And oh, forklift. Yeah, that's what it is, forklift. Let me read some comments, yes. I'll, I'll give you pictures of the backyard after I get it all done. Right now it's like in the in the middle of stuff. So um, if I versa mark the flowers and use clear embossing powder, what would that do? Um, I don't know. Why don't you try it, Starlet, and see, and then let me know. <laughs> Um, the stamps for this that you have to color or paint. Yes, the stamps are like open stamps, so you would have to color them. Here, I'll show that. That's what the stamps are. They're not like distinct or anything, so you're gonna have to color those. Or you could stamp them on some colored paper. So you could stamp this on like uh, the back of this piece right here. So let's say you have this piece and you stamped this on here, that would give you some um, kind of interesting colors or you know, just some kind of designer paper that's got some good design on it, you could do that instead of coloring if you don't like to color. Um, so anyway, this old man, he starts loading my car and he's picking up one bag of mulch at a time. And normally, you know, if a younger guy's out there, he'll pick up like two or three bags at a time. And so I start helping him because I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be here for like five hours. And so, you know, he grabs a bag, I grab a bag, he grabs a bag. So we get the mulch in the car and, I, and I'm situating because he just throws like a bag in the car, like just throws it in there. And I'm like, no, you got to like put it in a specific way. So I go stack it and I'm like, you got to put them. I can stack like six this way, six this way. And, you know, I said, it all fit, fit in here fine. And he's like, oh, you got a system. I said, yeah, I have a system. <laughs> and he goes, oh, you've done this before. I said, yeah, I've done it before. So I couldn't believe they had this old man out there doing this. So, oops, I forgot to put this one on. All right, so we're going to put a little bit more tape at the bottom. So anyway, we do this. We get all the mulch done, and then we have to do the uh, topsoil and there or the garden soil and there was none open and he's like well we don't have any bags open and i said well or any pallets open and i said i need to lift this up a little bit um i said well all you gotta do is just get your box cutter and uh open some bags 
And he goes, well, I don't have a box cutter out here with me. And I said, well, do those two people over there that are sitting around doing nothing have one? He goes, oh, I don't know. So he walks over to them and the girl starts walking over and she's like, what's wrong? And he's like, well, there's no bags of uh, garden soil uh, open. And she's like, well, just open another pallet. And he's like, well, I don't have anything to open them with. And so she pulls out a box cutter out of her little apron thing. That's too long. And, uh, you know, starts cutting down the side. I'm like, finally, she's going to help. Because she's sit they're sitting there watching the whole time, doing nothing. And, um, all right, so there we go. So we've got our ribbon over here. All right, so then we're going to put these on with dimensionals, too. And this one, I did put dimensionals. All of them have dimensionals. So he starts taking all the um, plastic wrap off of the garden soil. And... Um, I'm, I'm trying to help him and he's he gets it all and he's like, well, I got to go throw this away so it doesn't blow in the parking lot. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so he takes all this wad of plastic, walks all the way back to the store to throw it in the trash. And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> now it's like 9.30. <laughs> so I've been out in this parking lot like for 30 minutes now just getting this mulch, which should have taken like 10 minutes. And uh, so while he's in there, I'm loading the car up. So by the time he gets back, I've already got like 10 bags in the car. And, uh, you know, I had 15 more to go. And he goes, well, I guess this pallet must have uh, 25 bags on it. And I said, yep. I said, so I get the whole pallet. So let's go. And so he starts picking up one bag. And he's, he's kind of a shuffler. He's like shuffling to the car. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> I was just like, I feel like I was getting punked or something. <laughs> it was just cracking me up. I thought this cannot be for real because these other two kids are sitting over there really not helping. They're just watching. And I was like getting so frustrated. And um, so finally we get the car loaded and now it's, um, it's about 10 minutes till 10. It took that long to do it. So, like, 45 minutes, I'm in the parking lot and getting my stuff put in the car, which should have taken 10 minutes. So, oh, I got to cut this out. So, then I'm racing to my appointment. I wanted to go get gas, but I didn't have time. So, I get to my appointment, and by this time, I'm kind of sweaty, which is bad because I'm going for a massage. You know, I didn't want to be, like, sweaty. And uh, I walk in. <laughs> And the guy who, who does my massages, I saw him and he kind of walks around the corner like hiding. And I had to go run to the bathroom real quick. And so I walked past him and he was getting ready to like jump out and scare me. And <laughs> and right when I get to the where he's standing, I go, boo! <laughs> and I, I scared him. And he was like, oh man. He's so funny. I love my massage guy. That looks so funny. He's like, he's got a personality like mine. And uh, if he was a little bit older, I, I might even ask him out because he's single. But he's really cute. But he's a little bit too young for me. So, so anyway, then after my massage, that was perfect. That was the only thing that was perfect all day, I think. Um, I said, well, I'm going to run by Sam's because Sam's is right like across the street and get gas. So I pull into Sam's and there's there's only a couple lanes open and I'm like, well, what's going on? Why are only a couple lanes open? So I look and there's, there's cones out and I'm like, they're out of gas except for like four pumps. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So there was a bunch of cars waiting in line for the pumps that were still open. And, um, oops, I think I cut that too thin. That's not going to fit now. All right. I'm just going to put a little piece of dimensional right there and some tape right here and then we're just going to stick these on all right so this is going to go like right under here so I was like I'm not waiting this long line for gas that's crazy so I'm on like n about a quarter of a tank so I've got enough to get for a little bit a little bit so I race home and change clothes real quick 
and back up my car to the backyard and unload all this uh, mulch and topsoil. And then I finished doing that. It only took me like 15 minutes to, oops, I forgot this one, to unload it by myself. <laughs> and then I had to uh, go take a shower and get ready for work and eat lunch real quick. So then I went to work. And uh, last night was pretty good at work though. And um, let's see, I'm gonna put that under there, but I already put a dimensional. Let's see if I can tuck it. There we go. All right. And then we're gonna stick this one kind of like right there. And I wanted to have a little piece right behind it, but that's all right. All right, so there we go. And then we're gonna spray it with shimmer paint. So then I go to work, everything was good. I get off work last night, then I had to go, this morning I had an appointment at nine o'clock. And I go to 7-Eleven to get gas on the way to my appointment. All their pumps are empty. There's no gas at 7-Eleven. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. So then I go to Exxon and Exxon, like half of their pumps are gone, are broken or out or whatever. I don't know. So there's something going on with gas right now, but <laughs> I'm telling you. So then I went to work, was at work all day, got home about uh, 3.30 and then worked on this project. So there you go. I've been running around like crazy. So hope you love this card and all my chit chat while we made it. And here's the original one. So it's super easy card. You don't really have to do much of anything except cut out all these um, flowers, which doesn't take long at all. Um, I hope you loved it. And thank you guys so much for joining me. And let me read the comments real quick. Oh, Laura Ann says cougar. <laughs> uh, I'd love to have seen you after. See you, seen you get after those boys. Well, one was a girl there. I, I was so mad. I almost, if I hadn't been in such a hurry, I would have gone inside and said something to the manager because it was making me so mad that they were just standing there doing nothing. And this old man was the one doing all the work. Well, actually, yeah, I was the one doing a lot of the work too. But um, anyway, can you imagine the stories we all could tell? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me live tonight. Don't forget, I'm going to turn it off on private for just about 15 minutes and um, edit this video real quick, and then I'll put it back on public. So if you missed the whole thing, you can go back and watch the replay. I'll be back Tuesday for another video. And um, let's see. I see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Next video, can you show making bows? Oh, I will try. Oh, actually the next video, you know what I'm gonna do? Is I had a bunch of people request the, hold on, where did I go? This thing that I got from, uh oh, where did it go? Oh shoot, what did I do with it? I must have taken it in another room. The little post-it note holder that I got, um, that I showed, in, that I got in the mail. That's what I'm going to do for the next video. So a lot of people have requested the template and directions for that. So I'm going to figure it out, make it, and then that's what we're going to do on Tuesday. So I'm off on Tuesday. I have a class that morning, but I should be able to come up with something good. So that's what we'll do for the next one. Maybe I'll put a bow on it though. So we could do bows, but I've done a lot of bow cards. So um, go back and watch some of the other ones and, and, uh, Hopefully you can find that on there because a lot of my videos have bow tutorials. All right. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you Tuesday. Have a great rest of your weekend. And hopefully it will be a lot calmer than my uh, day last couple days have been. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.